the changes that the body goes through, what the body has to tolerate as a Blue Angel pilot or any high performance aircraft pilot are pretty terrific. And it's not just the brain, that's what you think about, but the brain, the ears, the eyes, uh, the internal organs, the heart, uh, the gastrointestinal tract, the bowels, everything is put into strain. Uh, fortunately, they're young people, uh, very trained athletes, and they are pretty able to withstand those pressures that the flying brings. Trained pilots know how to tense up. They tense their legs, they tense their abdominal and chest muscles, their arms, and what it does is it forces the blood back to the heart. So then it restores it back to a normal beating rhythm again, goes up through the arteries in the neck and up to the head. The other thing, from, from here down, from the, from the kind of the diaphragm muscle on down, it's a little bit less of a troublesome area overall uh, because uh, mostly we need good cardiovascular health in our heart and our brain. If you go to high altitudes uh, in an unpressurized cabin, what was a small amount of gas in your gastrointestinal tract can become bloated up and uh, can cause anything from mild discomforts to uh, social blunders, we'll say, um, and uh, makes a person kind of feel stuffy and uncomfortable. As you can imagine, high-performance pilots are very well checked out and very well trained. If you have just the man or the woman on the street that jumps in line, they're 45 or 50 years old, you may not know that they have some underlying cardiac disease, for example, or, or a little plaque, a little clot sitting in their neck, and uh, they might not do so well. So I think people have to be pretty careful. I will also guarantee you that, they, that the uh, high-performance pilots do not take them through their most difficult maneuvers. Somebody that's not trained and not experienced at that, they might get off, they might uh, have vomiting, they might have dizziness, they might be stu stumbling around, it might take a, a while for their vision to, occur, uh, to return back to normal. It's not a kind of physiologic stress or a stress on the body that our body is accustomed to. So it's not for Joe Q. Public. This is a young person's sport when it comes to the very high performance aircraft that the Blue Angels fly. I almost said blowing up dust. Really white dust. Oh, unless they're gonna fly through when they take off. Is this a new track that they're dealing with guys? Yeah. <laughs> Burn us! <laughs> that looks like some like they're doing some high road thing down there. Yeah. Or yeah. Oh, there, there they went. Smooth. It's a long way away to shoot them. They're about to be right above us. Well, that's right. This one, that might be what that is. They carry those canisters on them. They oh. do the smoke trails and stuff. Because they do public smoke trails. So they, oh, yeah. so well, I don't remember. Right. Yeah. They, they used to do like a red, white, and blue or something. Oh, that's right. And stuff. That might be what they were just urging on the ground or something. Oh. Wow, look how low they are. I bet they give them this, like, they give them this whole air slicer. It's just a whole big playground. This is all yours. Here you go. <laughs> look how tight they are. Away from us and towards us. This is pra practice. Still practice. practice. Yep. Because they're shutting down 169 tomorrow. Oh, here they are. Yeah. They're going to. Uh, they're going to probably be farther out in this direction. Practice. Oh, there's the fifth one. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, sixth one.
aggressive because I didn't see the button that whole time. <laughs> Well, we're about to have another building right there that'll probably have a logo on it. 